Hello everyone! Today I'm back again with Sally the cat that will help me to pick my art supplies. I did this a couple of weeks ago and it seems like you guys really enjoyed it and I enjoyed it and Sally loved eating all the treats. So I thought it would be fun to try it out again. And if you haven't seen that video I will link it down below and in the iCard section in the upper right corner so go check that out. I will try to make it a little different than last time. I have some new options for Sally to pick from, just to make it a little more interesting. First she will pick an art medium, then an art challenge, and then lastly she will pick a bonus item or supply for me. And Sonia Madden asked if I have ever drawn my cat, which I haven't really done in a long time. So since Sally is helping me today, I'm gonna draw her with whatever supply she picks for me, so let's go! So how this will work is that I have notes where I have written down different things, different options, and I will put a cat treat by each one of them, and the note by the first treat that Sally eats I will go with. So the first round will be what kind of art medium I'm gonna use, and for this part I haven't really changed anything, I will still go with markers, watercolors and color pencils. And yeah, Sally was a little sleepy, she had only slept for like 16 hours or something, so that is quite understandable. But when she realized that there were candy waiting for her, she got a little more excited. And since she only picked the left and the right notes last time, I really tried to put her in the middle in front of all the treats. And guess what? She picked the middle note, but I still have no idea what's written on them, so I can't cheat, so don't worry. What did you pick? And she picked markers for me again. <laughs> Thank you. But this can still be interesting because the next round will be an art challenge. So some of the challenges were suggested by Amazing Looms. So I will have free color challenge, rainbow challenge in which you are supposed to draw with all the colors of the rainbow, and finally the cheap slash less good version of the art medium which are markers. And in this case I will have the same bunch of markers that I had as an option last time because many of you guys wanted to see me use them so I decided to include them again. And it's basically just a random bunch of markers that I've gotten from different art boxes over the years and I guess the challenge would be the limited amount of colors. What's the gear? And she must have heard your wishes guys because she picked the random markers. And lastly, Sally will pick a bonus supply just to add an extra element. And the supplies are glittery black brush pen, a white gel pen, and a black acrylic paint marker. Sally! I get this! Sally! Hey! Can I get this? Come down! Sally, come down. Come on. Oh, let's see what you make for me. White gel pen. White gel pen. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Sally, for helping me today. You can go back to sleep now. So today I'm gonna try to draw Sally using markers, but not Copics or Pro markers, but these random weird markers that I for some reason only have in these reddish and blue-green grey tones. And my bonus supply is a white gel pen that I can use for highlights and details and such. And by the way, for you who thought that Sally looked a bit grumpy in the thumbnail for the last video, she isn't really that easy to take pictures of. 
And one thing I like to say before we get into the artsy part, and I don't want to jinx anything, but I've gotten quite a few new subscribers lately, and I'm super happy that so many new people find my channel and actually like what I do. I really appreciate you all, both new and old followers, of course, and I just wanted to say hello, I'm happy you're here, all of you, and thank you for the support. So the color choices I have here are quite limited, some of them are very similar, but since we have lighter and mid-tones and also some kind of darker tones, I think this can work pretty well anyway. It is a mix of both brush and bullet nib markers. So here's Sally, and as you may have noticed, I don't really have any perfect Sally colors, which actually make this a little more interesting in my opinion. My first thought was to make like a gradient from light teal to pink in some sort of abstract manner, but I ended up just using the teal sketchbox marker as a base. And wow, this marker sucks, just look what happened with the nib, it is all fussy and weird. It does still work to color with though, but it's not very great, especially not for details. Then since Sally has this beige color on her belly fluff and on her legs and face, I used the style file warm grey marker that is more like a light beige color, so I don't know what's up with that, but it worked great with this teal tone and added warmth to the piece. I do like the style file markers, even if the color codes might be a little off, the brush nibs are still quite nice. Well, everything is great compared to the sketchbox marker, I guess. Most of the markers were actually pretty great, it was only the Spectrum R Illustrator and the Sketchbox Marker that were complete trash, the other ones were actually pretty good quality. Then to add in all her stripes and spots I used the darker teal style file marker and I might as well add that I am trying to use a more stylized style and I'm not trying to make it realistic, I mean it is a turquoise cat. And I've got quite many questions in my last My Cat Pick My Art Supply video asking what kind of cat Sally is, even if I actually put all that information in the video, but anyways, both Sally and Ludwig, our other cat, are British short hair. I never thought I would get a pedigree cat, is that how you say it? A cat with a specific breed, because I grew up with normal house cats, which are perfectly fine in my opinion. But since me and my boyfriend lives in this smaller town or village, we didn't want to let our cats run around outside, mainly because there are a lot of cars. And it usually never happens here, but what frightened me the most was other people being mean or hurting them. And there is always a risk having outdoor cats, especially if you live like we do with a street right outside of our apartment. So before getting our cats we did some research and apparently British short hair are ideal as indoor cats, they usually don't really care if they can't go outside, and they are quite calm and down to earth most of the time. Well Ludwig is the perfect example of that, Sally is more like a normal cat, but we do have a little cage for them to go out on our patio to get some fresh air, and Sally actually really likes being outside, and now when we're moving to our new home, we're gonna build a large cat yard in the garden for them to be in and enjoy some kind of outdoor life. So back to Sally here, she looks a little high with the beige and pink eyes, but I thought the pink would complement nicely with the teal, and one of the chameleon markers came in a slightly darker beige than the style file marker, so I used it to add more depth and detail to the fur. And then we come to my favorite part, adding the details with a dark grey style file marker. I first thought I would just use it for the outlines, but it felt like this piece could use some more contrast, so I also filled in some of the stripes and the spots, and I'm so glad I did that because I love how it turned out. The darker outlines and details really brought this piece together. 
but it felt a little empty, like something was missing. So I decided to use the same colors I used for her eyes and nose to add in a background. And since there is already so much going on in the picture with the colors and the patterns, I just went with some good old vines. It is my go-to background pattern slash motif, and I think it contributed to a good balance in the colors. And I didn't forget the white gel pen, the last thing I did was adding some whiskers and highlights in the eyes. I hope you like this little drawing of Sally the cat, because I love it. I think I captured her likeness pretty well. I had a lot of fun with this challenge and letting Sally pick my art supplies again. Let me know if you would like to see another video like this, leave a like or a comment or both and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and click on that little bell icon to get notified every time I post new art or videos and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye! Oh,